What up, everybody? It's your Casador Tejano. Hope all you Casadores are doing okay out there today. It's uh, Friday, September 3rd, third day of the Texas Dove season 2021. I was unable to hunt the first and the second day just due to work. Uh, as you know, I'm a paramedic, so I try to knock out some hours, did 48 hour shift, and now it's time to do some uh, hunting. I don't know what's got more white, my beard or my hat. I don't know. But down here in Texas, it's a Texas tradition, at least with my friends, is uh, you get together for opening weekend, first weekend you can, and uh, make it down to deer camp. Everybody has, brings a couple friends. We do a big old cookout. We, this weekend we'll be down, going down to Del Leon to my buddy David's spot uh, with Kiko and Dale and all the Solis men. They've been on this lease for I think 20 years. So it's a long time. So uh, stick around. Let me know what you think about the video. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit like and share. Uh, let's try to get me up to 100 followers. Once I'm able to get to 100 followers, I'm able to go live more often on YouTube. Once I'm able to go live, you'll be able to see my content more often. And then we can start doing some prizes. So please share this encourage a friend encourage someone to go ahead and subscribe we're only about 38 uh, subscribers away from hit 100 it's a big goal to get to 100 subs on youtube so help me get there share it tell everybody about the casa artejano and maybe we'll do a giveaway for a hat not this one or a shirt not this one because these are both worn out but we'll give away something and uh, at 200 subs let's get to 100 let's get the momentum rolling and 200 will give away something nice so thank you for watching stick around tell me what you think after the show bye everything's usually high so right there. look right here oh it went down right by yeah. the tree yeah. right by that tree dude oh no Just Eat that way, eat that way, eat up. Old cow, old cow. Damn. The other one fall in the water? <laughs> no, did the other one fall in the water or no? No, there's only one that it fell. The one you did, you shot it. Yeah. It went in the water. Fine. <laughs> Oh, that one's closed. That's just the old one. That's the one you just shot. Oh. Oh, there's another one? Yeah. This is the one you shot. Oh, it, it floated How to far the, is it, dude? It floated to this. You could get it with the palo.
Hey, once that light hit the mojo, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nobody. Hey, you want to come sit over here? Sit over here, fool. I'm telling you. Oh, come right here. Your gun. If you keep your gun pointed up. You got to keep it up, fool. Yeah, if you keep your gun pointed up, you can go sit over there by them. He likes to keep his finger in the trigger. Just like right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got that crooked finger. Tends to slide in there. Come over here. Don't be scared. Well, we're out here in De Leon. After this, huh? That's a good one. Oh, damn! 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 Look at that. You see them reflexes? You see them just moving. Damn! 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 <laughs> was it a woodpecker? It was just a pecker. Can <laughs> <laughs> we go behind you? Right there. I got that one. I got that one. Yeah, I got that one too. We're here looking for a bird. Down bird, down bird. So like I said, we're back out here at De Leon with Dale, Kiko, David, Bobby. We got Ralph over here. Uh, the dove is moving a little slow this morning, but uh, we got a couple shots. They're mostly falling in the pond in front of us like they did last night, but at least we're hitting them. This morning was pretty, pretty slow. I don't know what to say. Uh, we had some groups flying, but nothing like we did yesterday afternoon. Uh, the wind was dead calm, so maybe that had something to do with it. We're going to try uh, try it again this afternoon and see what we get. Same spot as we were yesterday at evening. We're going to be facing uh, towards the pond. I'm scooted off more to the right this time. Um, hoping to get a little bit of a clearer shot. And hopefully they don't land into the pond. Yep. Hunting's been tough this evening. Uh, I've had a single come in. I dropped him. I had a group of two come in. I busted the wing on the one of them and I just couldn't find it. I looked and looked and looked and man, I don't know. Um, then I had a single come in and I dropped him and then that's it. I think I had another single and man, I'm, I'm seeing feathers. So I'm either shooting low or behind them or something, but not enough to kill them. But uh, here in this part of Texas, we're in Comanche, Texas. Uh, you've got both regular morning dove and white wing dove. Uh, they both look a little different. Here, I'm going to put them side by side so you guys can take a look and see the difference. Uh, so you got to excuse me. These guys have been in my pocket for a little bit. Uh, we've got your morning dove here, which is uh, what most people are probably used to shooting here in Texas. And then we've got uh, white winged dove the first thing you can tell is that the beak is a whole lot longer compared to the morning dove morning dove beak a whole lot shorter in comparison side by side also also the feet are much larger on a white wing but the biggest difference as you can tell as you see Biggest difference you could tell is the white winged has this black with the white tip, and the morning dove does not. So, what are some ways you like to cook your dove? I guess everybody here usually cuts the breast, breasts them out, uh, wraps them in bacon. Sometimes they use cream cheese, jalapeno, or they use onions, um, but somehow, some way, it's always wrapped in bacon. Um, I've seen a few people deep fry them, stuff them, trying to eat them like uh, pigeons. Um, I don't know. My my, The way I was taught and the way I've always done it has been bacon wrapped. I mean, can you really go with bacon, especially you get a nice little salty piece of bacon, it gets nice and crisp. 
goes around the thing, the cream cheese. Here lately, I've been omitting the jalapeno and adding an onion. If I don't do cream cheese, I definitely do pieces of onion because the onion uh, melts down, it gets nice and sweet. And then gives that dove a nice different texture and taste to it. But you definitely uh, smoking them, put them in the smoker, getting a nice color on your on your dove, and then putting them on on the grill to get them nice and charred. It's beautiful. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Tell me, leave it in the comments. What what do you like to do? How do you like to cook your dove? What's your favorite way? Do you have a different recipe? Would you try deep frying the whole thing? What would you do? Ooh, second morning hunt, last hunt for me. It's humid out here. I don't know if you can tell how foggy these shades are. I mean, it's humid, 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 humid. Right there, right there, right there. Eat up. Oh, got that one. Hey, you shit. Shit, bro. Look at that. Oh, he's on the yeah, down there. There, you go. oh, there he goes. I fall and fall. Who shot that second one? Yeah. Who, who do you think? Who do you think shot the second one? <laughs> Therefore, if you didn't shoot it, you know what I'm saying? I got both of them. Shit, you didn't shoot I shot the first. Get the fuck out of here. Look, look, what well, I was telling you yesterday, fool. I was telling you I keep shooting them off to the side. Damn. So I keep winging them. Yeah. All of them. Better get a better gun. Shit. <laughs> better get better eyes. That's what I better get. <laughs> This morning's a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, uh, birds are flying. Um, we got some action going. I have a few Mark shots. Saying, Let us know oh, there's a big group. He's moving. They're yeah. moving. They're moving. They're moving. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, big group come in. A uh, whole lot better than yesterday evening and morning. So, got some good flyers. Like David shot probably about 45 birds already. <laughs> He's only shot three times. So, <laughs> 45 bird <laughs> shells. <laughs> hey, who are you calling? Calling the birds? Call Kiko. Highway 6, this is Shannon. Yes, what time do y'all stop serving yeah. breakfast? At 11 o'clock. Thank you, ma'am. Uh -huh. Go in there and race it. You don't wait at your dinner. There it is. How many, how many, He's down. Right, right. We're gonna pack up here shortly and heading that way. Get 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 Felt great. Birds flew a whole lot better. I don't think I got that many on camera. We we're uh, cutting up and cussing and doing some unfamily like things, I guess, when you hang out with your boys. And uh, yeah, we had a great adventure. It was a beautiful time out here in De Leon again. 
Uh, birds are still flying. It's crazy. Uh, the cold front's coming through. Wind's picking up. I don't know if you can tell. The water moving. But good times. But I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys sticking around and uh, supporting me. Remember, share the videos, like them, and comment as much as you can. We're trying to get to 100 viewers or 100 subs, and then we're able to do a lot more. We're, able, we're trying to get to 100 subs. Once we get there, we're able to do a lot more. We'll do a contest when we get to 200. Right out. Thanks for sticking out. Thank you for subscribing. And I appreciate you being another Casador Tejano.